Hello. So I have had a few, actually more than a few, requests for me to continue doing my rehab diaries. So this is part three of when I was in treatment for my eating disorder almost a year ago. Can you believe that? A year ago. Crazy. Anyway, I will start, um, I think this is where I left off, uh, May 20th. It's a Friday. Um, let's see. The days go by so quickly. I'm very aware of how little time I have here. What I'm really stressing out about is family week. <laughs> it's in about 10 days. I'm not ready to face my parents again, and I don't really want to confront and be confronted. I'm scared, but I'm going to practice being in the moment, which is one of the skills they teach you. Um, okay. I've noticed today a change in a change in me. I'm willing to give up restriction. I want a balanced, healthy life. Um, it's a good change. Ed is still in my head, but his voice is quieter and my voice is louder. Sydney left this morning. I'll miss her. We made each other laugh, never quarreled, put up with each other's quirks, and really bonded. And then, for like three or four pages I talk about kind of Sydney and her story and her life but since I don't know how she feels about me sharing it here I'm not gonna read that part um, but she has a crazy life story maybe sometime if she lets me I'll read it to you because it's it's good I mean it sucks but she's been through a lot and she's stronger because of it so anyway um May 22nd Sunday I'm finding it difficult to keep up in this journal. I'm always busy doing something here. The last two days have been the best yet. Friday I had so many realizations. Alan, my therapist, and I had a one-on-one, -on -one, and all this stuff came up about Tyler, my brother, and my parents, and the anger and resentment and regret I've had for years. The entire session I was sobbing and wailing. Yes, wailing. <laughs> I haven't cried like that since Tyler died. It was a total God thing I saw Alan Friday. Our appointment was originally for Thursday, but everything was running behind that day, so I saw Michelle instead because I haven't seen her all week. At the time, I was annoyed things were running so behind, and Michelle kept canceling on me. But I wouldn't have been ready to make those realizations with Alan on, thurs on Thursday. Afterwards, I felt tired, but at peace. Um, and just to kind of like say what that realization was. Um, there's a lot of, when I was a kid, I had a hard time with the attention my brother got um, because of his heart problems. And I really resented the amount of attention he got. And I kind of had that anger towards him and I did a horrible thing as a child. Um, for a while, I would, I would blame him for my mistakes like things that I did wrong and he was so innocent that he would say like when my mom was like did you do this he would be like yes I did and he would get punished for it and what's even worse this is something this is what I was crying and wailing about I would like kind of hit Tyler I'd hit him and not too hard because he was pretty breakable but I'd like kind of hit him and then I'd be like mom Tyler hit me and he would get in trouble then for hitting me and I have just felt so much regret and shame and I am so sorry for treating him like that we laughed about it years later but I never was able to tell him I'm sorry you know before he died and so um yeah that was really good to talk about with him my therapist anyway Sydney left Friday morning. It was so sad and I miss her loads. Saturday, though, was the funnest day yet. Equine, which is like horse riding, um, in the morning and I finally got to ride. Yeah, for being on green. <laughs> I rode, dude. We also had art therapy and painted the masks we made last week with plaster, molds, and water. I painted my mask with a white face and black hair and lips um, that stood for black black and white thinking. Gosh, sorry, this is like really discombobulated. Um, uh, red and orange for anger and hostile and cat eyes for animalistic, feral, and wild. And two big tears running down her face in rainbow colors, representing the true me underneath Ed. It was very like, it was a cool mask. I would say mine was probably the coolest one. No, I'm just joking. It was really cool though. I Maybe I have it somewhere. I'll show it to you guys. 
Anyway, we also did the sumo inflatable huge tube things for Rec. I wasn't going to do it, but there was one left, so I went for it. We had so much fun. People were flipping over and it was just a blast. Everyone was laughing so hard. I'm getting along with everyone and I feel so good. I'm interested in life again and I can be me. No hiding. Yay! Um, let's see. The only downer has been how much food talk has been going on, especially after meals while we're drinking our coffee and tea. I know it's really bothering my friend, but she has a hard time using her voice and muskrating them. <laughs> I don't want to uh, I don't want to because I finally feel accepted. I don't want to make any enemies or any waves. The maturity level has dropped too. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, things are messy. People don't clean up after themselves and just immaturity. Nicole and I have become good friends. She had family week and got her and I friendship bracelets. Makes me feel special, wanted, and loved. Um, she's a phlegmatic sanguine, but perfectionist. She's shared with me some things no one knew about her except her mom and therapist. That meant a lot to me. Um, what I found out broke my heart and makes me feel so angry. Um, yeah. Anyway. And then this is Wednesday. Today Michelle took Abby, Debbie, Tori, and I. Debbie. I'm sorry I called you Debbie, Deb. Um, Today, Michelle took Abby, Deb, and Tori and I out for a restaurant challenge at lunchtime. We went to a pizza place, ah, and I had one large slice of pepperoni and veggies pizza, a side salad with dressing, about one cup, not of dressing, <laughs> ew, um, of uh, salad, and lemonade, 10 to 12 ounces. It was awkward and uncomfortable, very tense. Everyone was anxious, but we all finished. I was more talkative before, and even during the meal, but I barely spoke a word afterwards. Feelings check. I feel upset. I can't accept all the f that all food is good for you in portion. I disagree. Um, I have this urge to binge. Pizza was a binge food, so I felt tempted to eat more and purge. Um, if I didn't have the tube in, or if I was on my own, I'd definitely try to purge. I also, I also feel tempted to cut. I want to hurt myself, punish myself for being weak, punish myself for not adding up. Um, I feel really tempted. Also to restrict, I'm tempted to refuse to eat the rest of the day. I guess to communicate that I'm unhappy. Um, yeah. I feel overwhelmed. I'm going to have to do this with my parents next week. I don't know if I can do this on my own. I forgot to mention I was shaking the whole time during the meal. <laughs> I really want to hurt myself now. Sunday was a really difficult day for me. Everything was going great until lunch. Potato salad sandwich and fruit and regular potato chips. I froze up, <laughs> was shaking. I realized I haven't had mayo since my head started, not even for binging and purging. It just isn't a food I allow to even enter my body. I had to supplement it. Um, and then the next day, ah, oh, I'm horrible at keeping up with, I guess it wasn't the next day, it was a few days later. I said, ah, I'm horrible at keeping up with journaling. I keep getting distracted and I'm actually quite busy between classes, appointments, homework, and hanging out with friends. So everything I wrote in here regarding, oh, that's something I don't wanna read to you guys, sorry. I don't want someone to read it or watch this, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. Love you guys.